the CocoaPods to install the mobile SDK from Salesforce into another Xcode project. Um, what we're going to do today is integrate the SDK from Salesforce into um, an API AI uh, project. So I've created a temp directory within uh, my uh, MacBook. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone the uh, project from API AI. Now that's done, go into the directory, need to go into the demo directory, modify the pod file using the instructions here. So more or less uh, within the pod file it is instructed to um, also download the S uh, Salesforce mobile SDK. install here's where it's going to download all the re relevant files and then uh, compile it into a pod project which actually forms a library it's quite neat as it does uh, most of the heavy lifting for you so now you don't have to worry about dependencies as much has downloaded the latest uh, Salesforce SDK even though I haven't specified which version uh, download the version 3.3 so next thing I'm going to do is gotta open up um, Xcode here's the project and temp go to the demo directory it's going to be very important that you open up the workspace and not the uh, project file. Open it up. I'm actually using Xcode version uh, 7 um, for iOS 9. It's still a beta version, so there's got a bunch of um, files we need to update. So in this case, uh, do you notice that the, there are multiple targets here, or schemes rather. Um, I built this, the API AI demo version of my iPhone 5. Make sure select that one. Okay, so more or less we're going to try to build it and see what happens. I'm actually using a relatively old MacBook, so this is taking a bit of time. But nevertheless, it should work still. It should still work. Okay, so there are four warnings so far. Some of them are relatively benign, just to update the settings, which we can do. Okay, it's still building. Close down some applications to see if it'll speed it up a bit. Okay, 